Right, hi there. This broadcast is about uh, standard index form. So let's start with a big number. Two, zero, four, five, seven, eight, six, four. Now, if we looked at that number, we've got to be able to pronounce it. So remember, the system is come starting here. At the right, count in every three. So three, another three. So this number, remember, is we say that how we see it. This number is the thousands. And this section here is the millions. So that's easy to read back. That's 20 million, 457,864. But um, we also need to be able to write large numbers in a more simple mathematical manner. So. So we have this number, 98,600. Right, the way we do this is as follows. We focus on this digit, this digit, and this digit. Now we write those down. So let's change pens. So the 9, the 8, and the 6. Now, the first number in standard index form has to be bigger than 1, but less than 10. So the only way we can get those three digits bigger than 1, less than 10, is by putting that decimal point in there. So, imagine that decimal point was there. We've had to go 1, 2, 3, 4 jumps to the right. So it's times 10 to the power 4. Now, does that make sense? So over here to the right, 10 to the power 1 is 10. 10 to the power 2, or 10 squared, is 10 times 10, which is 100. 10 to the power 3 is 1,000. And 10 to the power 4 is 10,000. So let's just look at that. 9.86 times 10,000 will indeed give me 98,600. Let's do another one. So if I have the number 1400000, now that is 1,400,000. And in standard form, remember, focus on those first non-zero digits. So I'm going to write a 1 and a 4 down. And I have to put a decimal here. That means that that number there is bigger than 1, but less than 10. And I'm going to times that by 10 to the power. So let's think I forced the decimal here, didn't I? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 10 to the power 6. And remember, 10 to the power 6 is a million. And that does make sense, because 1.4 times a million is indeed 1,400,000. Now, it can work the other way as well. So, if I have a really small number, like 0 0.0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 5, 4, 8, then um, I've got to use the same system. So... The non-zeros working my way in from the left are 5, 4, and 8. Now, I've got to put a decimal here, so that means that that number is bigger than 1 but less than 10. And this time, because I forced the decimal here, I've got to go 1, 2, 3, 4 times to the left. So, because I've gone to the left four times, it's 10 to the power 4, but negative 4. And that means that, let's just highlight it, that means that this is exactly the same as this. Now, to finish off now, you could be asked the question the other way around. They might say to you, 2.3 times 10 to the 4. 
And the way to do this, you've got to take that from standard form back to a normal number. So watch how I do it. I write the two and the three down. The decimal point is there, and I have to jump it four places to the right. One, two, three, four. So you put zeros in where you've jumped over spaces, and you can see that that whole number is 23,000. Does that make sense? Well, 10 to the power of 4 is the same as 10,000, and 2.3 times 10,000 does in fact make 23,000. And the final one, let's do 3.07 times 10 to the negative 5. So, the way we do this, write the 3.07 down, and we know we're going to be jumping this five places to the left because of the negative sign. So let's get my jumping pen. One, two, three, four, five. So every space that I jump over, there is a zero. Put the decimal in. And remember, when we write, read back a number that starts with point zero zero, etc., it's good etiquette to put that to start with a zero. So my answer is, and I'll read it out: naught point naught 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 three zero seven. I'll just write that down so that's nice and clear: naught 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 three zero seven. So that means that. That answer is exactly the same as that number in standard form. Okay, I hope that's been helpful.